Hi, I'm Jennifer with the American Heart Association, and I'm really excited to help you all kick off your American Heart Challenge Glow With Heart program through your HOSA team. Now, many of you probably did Jump Rope for Heart or Kids Heart Challenge when you were in elementary school, and maybe something for the American Heart Association in middle school. We're looking forward to continuing that tradition. You have some heart survivors right here in Comel ISD, including which you'll see posters around your school telling a little bit about her story. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Addie, and she's going to tell you her story, how to register, and challenge you to take Finn's mission. My name is Addie Graylin, and this is my story. Truncus arteriosus. That was a congenital heart defect I was born with. Most people in this world are born with four heart valves. I was only born with three. My journey into this world wasn't always the smoothest, but my story doesn't end there. My parents didn't know that I was born with a congenital heart defect until birth. I had my first open heart surgery at one month, my second at seven months, my third at two and a half years, and my fourth at 10 years old. I have artificial stents and valves in my pulmonary artery that keeps my blood pumping. My heart is a special kind of heart and it has to work twice as hard to pump blood. It makes it very difficult to run around and even play the sports I love. Some of the challenges I face with truncus arteriosus isn't just physical, but it's also emotionally difficult for me. Feeling different from my friends is always hard. I started getting the question of what was wrong with my voice. My voice is different than other people's because I've had so many breathing tubes gone down my throat. A lot of little kids would ask me, why is your voice so scratchy? Are you sick? And that's kind of when I had to tell them I had four open heart surgeries. I remember the night before one of my surgeries, I finished showering and I laid down in the hotel bed and I just felt tears roll down my face. My mom asked me if I was okay and I didn't know what to say. I was nervous I wasn't going to see my family again. That's the scariest part of heart disease is not knowing if you're going to see your family again. I always have in the back of my mind, I do have to have another open heart surgery in a few years, but I know that I've been through four of them, which means I can go through five of them. I think having a heart condition has made me the strongest person I can be. I inspire not just my family, but I inspire a lot of people, and that's what pushes me. I know that tomorrow is never guaranteed, and that's why each morning when I wake up, I live it harder than I did the day before. What I want people to know about the American Heart Association is that they're more than a nonprofit that does research to find ways to keep us alive and healthy. They're a champion for health, equity, and fight for kids and adults to give them their best chance of a long and healthy life. They do this by raising funds and awareness for things like congenital heart defects, nutrition, security, CPR training, and mental well being as we work to end heart disease and stroke. I use my voice to advocate for others because I know what it's been like to be put down. And I also know what it's been like to have someone stand next to me and stick up for me. So that's why I use my voice to stand up for other people. I want to follow my footsteps and be a heart surgeon because I've lived the life, I've been there, and I know what it's like. I have learned that you can't wait for a challenge to arrive before you start living your life. So I'm going to live my life. The American Heart Association helped to save my life, and now it's your turn to save lives. The best part? You can do it right from your phone. If you have it, go ahead and grab it. 
The first thing I want you to do is download the app on your phone by searching American Heart Challenge in the App Store or Google Play Store. Once you have the app downloaded, go ahead and click Register. Now you'll find your school by typing your school's name and selecting Sign Up. Go ahead and click No, I'm New. Next, you'll set your fundraising goal and create your profile. This will take you a minute, so feel free to take some time here. You'll need your username and password later, so you may want to write it down. Make your password something you will remember. Now, reopen the American Heart Challenge app on your phone and log in. Now it's time to ask your family for donations to support you. Complete Finn's mission by personalizing your page and sending text messages or emails and posting on social media. And the best part? Everything's already written for you. Congrats, you are officially ready to make a difference. Now that you've heard Addie's story and seen how to register, our goal at Piper High School is to raise $2,500. The way to do that is make sure that you complete Finn's mission. So are you up for the challenge?